Welcome to the Research Cloud video tutorials. This tutorial will show you how to connect to your virtual machine using SSH on a Windows computer. Now to start with, we need to do a couple of extra steps with Windows to include some software that isn't already there. The first piece of software we need is called PuTTY. You do a Google search for PuTTY, you can click on the PuTTY download page. The easiest thing to do is download the Windows installer. This will include everything we need, including a key generator. Now we're not actually going to generate a new key, but convert the key that we have been using in order to make it useful to PuTTY. We can launch PuTTY. and just do all, accept all of the defaults for the installer. I won't worry about the readme. The other piece of software I want to include is Xming, which is a free X Windows server. So if I download that, this will allow me to forward my X11 Windows from my virtual machine to my Windows computer. These are quite small files and won't take long to download. Once again, I can simply accept the defaults to install the Xming server. I can launch Xming now. If I don't launch it now, I will have to do so manually. Allow access. This lets the Xming server through the firewall. You'll notice down the bottom here, we have the Xming server running, ready to go. If you reboot your machine, that won't come back automatically, so you'll have to manually launch the Xming server from the start menu. Okay, now we're ready to change our key which was the new my new key we need to set it up so that it can be used with putty so we click on start and type in putty gen now if we click on load and if we go to our downloads folder I'm looking for all files. In this case, I'm looking for my new key where is it? There it is, my new key. And it's a PEM file. I click open. It'll tell me it successfully imported it. And I click OK. And then I can save the private key. I don't need to worry about the passphrase in this case. Save private key, and I'm just going to call it my new key and this will ins this won't add a PPEM extension it'll add a PPK extension and I click save and that's it we don't need to use putty gen again okay so now we want to use putty so type in putty oops I've launched the putty gen generator again there just go into putty and pick putty now if I go back to my dashboard and have a look at my instance, I can see my IP address. I'm just going to cut and paste that. So control C, put that on the dashboard, switch back to putty. Now the host name or IP, I just paste that in there. But before I do anything else, I need to go and add a couple of quick things. 
you need to go down to the SSH and click on Auth. This allows me to set up the private key file for authentication. If I click on Browse and I go back to my Downloads folder, and find my new key and click open. Now before I, I don't want to hit open yet, there's a couple of other quick things I want to do. The X11, I want to click on that and I want to say enable X11 and I want to forward it to my local computer which is known as local host and it's the main window so it's colon zero. Now I could click open now and it would go ahead and do it, but before, rather than do that every time, I'm going to go back to the session window, type a name in, and I'm going to call it my new serve, my new server, and I'll click save. And that way I've got these settings already in there now. So I can click open, and I get that same message I got on the, on the Mac, which is asking me if I want to include this RSA key fingerprint in my local my known hosts. So I'm going to click yes. And I'm logging in as Ubuntu. And there is my first connection using SSH on a Windows computer. Now if I type in X clock I should be able to forward that window through to my local computer. And there you can see it running. And you can see down the bottom here the X server, X Ming server is operational. And if I close that, I'll get back to there. Okay, so basically that's the difference between using SSH on a Windows computer and on a Mac computer. With Windows you need PuTTY and XMing, but otherwise everything else works the same. Okay, thanks very much.